We, we always joked about me having the brown warehouseman's coat that uh, Ronnie Barker would wear in open all hours, but uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, the, the pens in the pocket, but we haven't, we haven't gone down that road. What are you actually doing in a typical festival day? Are you down here managing I, all, what all, comes out of you? All the time, yeah. yeah. Um, I, uh, I, I liaise with the different HODs. So they'll they'll t they'll give you a sort of map of what they're going to need yeah. each day, yeah. and you and uh, and then I kind of um, work with um, the guys to kind of get that ready to go out. So uh, some days you'll have a lot of stuff that's going out. So you've got four venues that are all fitting up or getting in. There'll be a whole load of stuff all lined up and trolleys ready to go into the trucks and go away. I, I tend to stay here. Right. I'm a bit like a pit pony. I'm allowed out for special occasions. <laughs> What does in pulvis fidemis mean? In dust we trust. In dust we trust. It's just an ongoing bit of banter between the carpenters and, and the electricians about dust. Yeah, and get so your dust back in the workshop. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so what's being made? It's a your mess. A mess, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so the, the, the treads, they'll, um, they'll, they'll put them together. What they're doing is they're filling the screw holes right. so that uh, they'll sand that down, then they'll paint it, and uh, it, it, so hopefully you don't see how it was made, as it were. But quite often in other venues, uh, we'll have shows in just now, so there's only so much we can do in you advance. Get day of right go, yeah, yeah. In. You can't have chaos in your nut and bolt department. It's terrible. When somebody mixes <laughs> your M10s had. with your M12s. <laughs> Yeah. So have you have you always been doing this kind of work? Have you did you start out in theatre? Yeah, um, at university I got involved in shows, yeah. and uh, were you ever on stage yourself? Have you always? I have been. Yes, yeah. I was actually uh, on stage during an Edinburgh festival a few years ago. Yeah, what were you? Um, I was an extra in a Citizens production of The Robbers, I think it was. It was either that or Hamlet. I can't remember. Um, <laughs> Important. Detail. <laughs> Small detail. I'm sure it was the robbers. It was a <laughs> Philip House directing Schiller, um, and we, a whole bunch of us, and we just wore ridiculous amounts of body armour and carried <laughs> extraordinary amounts of weapons. <laughs> yes, um, working in here is a bit like a sort of three-dimensional Tetris game every yeah, day. <laughs> you always, you always want to get to the thing at the back. Yeah. And to that end, we've got lots of um, these pallet trucks. Um, standard tell me that you that tell me that you push each other around on them. No, that, that's that's irresponsible. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Oh, yeah. so during the festival, mm -hmm. when your days are seventeen hours long and you're moving stuff here and there, uh -huh. what do you do to make sure that you don't go a bit mad with it all? <laughs> I've got a big fridge downstairs full of beer, and it isn't. It is called beer o'clock. Beer o'clock. Yeah. Your day is done. Yeah, yeah. there's a band. Um, and we call it the Bar Mitzvahs, um, <laughs> and it's a right hodgepodge of stuff. Yeah, are you uh, are you a singer yourself? I'll howl a tune out. Yes, yeah. pop howling. Howling. <laughs> <laughs> it was a prop in a show, um, so I I just kind of. Oh, it's a bit rough. Um, I'm feeling self-consciousness. Oh, none of that. <laughs> Sometimes it's quite nice just to kind of yeah. let the dust settle at the end of the day. It's a nice little hideaway you've got here yes, in the midst of yeah. it all. <laughs>